Chemical interrogation method. When the oxygen in the plastic bag is sucked dry, the man begins to tremble all over, even incontinence. A second before being suffocated, the interrogation expert Henry punctured the plastic bag. He told Joseph that if he didn't honestly confess the whereabouts of the nuclear bomb, he would let him experience this feeling of being on the verge of death over and over again. Seeing that he still didn't speak, Henry took a small knife and reached towards Joseph's lower body. Oh my god, oh my god. This inhumane interrogation method has seriously violated the Geneva Convention. Another trial expert, Helen, couldn't stand it anymore. She rushed to the boss's office and demanded an immediate stop to this inhumane interrogation. The suspect is being tortured. This is unconstitutional. Uh, if those bombs go off, there will be no fucking constitution. At the same time, Henry was changing his ways to interrogate him. Electric shock, pulling out nails, and pulling teeth without anesthesia, he used all kinds of methods one by one, but still couldn't ask any relevant clues. When going to the toilet, Helen asked Henry why he used such a cruel interrogation method. Henry told Helen that Joseph was a retired special soldier. He would not be afraid of ordinary means. Only when he felt that the interrogator was a person without a bottom line would he feel fear and possibly tell the truth. Helen didn't believe this theory at all, so she decided to go on stage herself and continue to use love to influence Joseph. After arriving at the interrogation room, she let Joseph down, and then very considerately asked about his injuries. Let him first confess the location of one of the nuclear bombs, so that the military can confirm that he really has a nuclear bomb, and then will pay more attention to the conditions he proposed. Although there was a moment of struggle, he still didn't say anything in the end. Now there is less than a day left before the nuclear bomb explodes. In order to let Joseph tell the location of the nuclear bomb, Henry can only continue to torture him. After being tortured continuously for more than six hours, Joseph finally couldn't bear it. He gritted his teeth and stated his two conditions. First, the US military cannot interfere in the internal affairs of Islamic countries, and must withdraw from Islamic countries completely. The US military could not possibly agree to his outrageous condition, and they were not sure whether the nuclear bomb was true or false. So the military could only continue to interrogate, trying to let Joseph confess the specific location of the nuclear bomb himself. Henry exhausted all means, but still did not get any results. Seeing the situation, Helen let him think about his wife and children. At this time, Joseph finally couldn't help it. He cried and confessed the location of one of the nuclear bombs. Then the military rushed to the location mentioned by Joseph at the fastest speed, looking at the scene, this is indeed the place where Joseph filmed the video, but the soldiers turned this place upside down and did not find the shadow of the nuclear bomb. At this time, a soldier found a selfie of Joseph on the roof. He casually peeled off the photo, but found that there was a detonation button hidden behind the photo. 